Sometimes you want to transition from one color to another color in your presentation. In this slide I will teach you how to do this by adding a custom shape and also how to design a nice slide like this. Let's say that the next slides you will make will be white. If you don't want to make the change so abruptly, going from dark to bright, then I'll show you a nice trick how you can easily transition between two colors. Let me delete everything and start designing this slide. I go to Insert, Shapes, and we'll select the right rectangle, not the wrong one, the right one. I'll make it to cover the entire slide, but we anyway need to rotate it. So I start rotating, I hit this button, and by holding the Shift key, I rotate it 90 degrees. Now I place it perfectly on the left side, it will snap automatically, I make it smaller, and I widen it so it covers the entire slide. We could stay like that, but this would be a bit too boring. So I'll click on the object, go to edit shape and edit the points. Right about in the middle, I right click and select add point. This will create a new vector point. And now I'll try to make a curve here, like an S shape. So I'll pull the left handle, the left bezier handle to go about like this just slightly, and I pull the left handle to go about this. You notice as in the corner, it goes around. Well, this is because this point also has these handles. So I need to select this point and make it a bit more slight. Like this, just a bit. Well, I've gone too far, I'm sorry. This can be easily adjusted by placing it like this. Now this point, adjust it just a little bit and I'm ready. I have a nice little S shape. Well, it's a bit incorrect here, but this doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to transition between the dark color and the bright color with a useful slide. Now by having this selected, I go to Shapefill, Eyedropper, I click and I select the background color from previous. Now I go back and select some text boxes like this and I copy them over. This will be my first step. This will be my second step. And I copy it also here. One on the bottom and one on the right side. Let's say these colors, let's say those titles will be with this color. This will look really interesting. It will have a nice contrast eyedropper like this. Maybe not face, I'll call it here step three. Now we are close to being done. And in the middle, I would like to place some icons. So I'll go to insert shapes and I'll make some circles. I click by holding the left shift key, I make perfect circles. Now those circles will be filled with a white color and their outline will be of course the color from our background. Now you can decide how big it is, for example, two or three points. And I copy it for each step one, two, three, and four. Now it's a matter of placing everything in the right positions like this. Step three will be in this place and the last step four will be here down bottom. Depending on how many steps you want, you will copy them over. Now I would just need to place some icons here and this slide will be ready. You can download some icons from the internet, colorize them. For example, if you would place a red icon here, you could select this text, click on this text box and make the text as well red or selecting the text eyedropper and selecting the same color as the icon. For now, this is enough. I have my slide prepared to go along from one color to another. And if I select a new slide, it will be white. The transition will be much more smoother and softer between the dark color and the bright color. This is it. This is how you design slides like that. As a YouTube viewer, if you would like, you can grab a discount for my entire course where I teach how to make many more of such slides. You can find the link in the description down below. Thank you very much for your attention. My name is Andrzej Pach and this was a slide design tutorial and we made a four step slide.